Hello there, Whipper here, and today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the Frostcraft mod, and basically what this does is it makes your whole Minecraft world into like the Arctic and makes it really cold, and it also implements like a temperature bar to show your body temperature at the time, and the more red this bar is, the hotter you are, and the more blue this bar is, the colder you are, and you really want to maintain the bar as red as possible, because if you get the um, too cold, and the blue bit of the bar is over 70% of the bar, I believe, um, then you get some uh, horrible effects on you, like um, nausea, slowness and weakness and stuff like that. It's really not very nice to walk around with, so yeah. So first off, I'm going to be showing you the things in this mod that actually cool you down. So naturally, when you're standing out in the open like this in the daytime, you will um, actually cool down, as you can see here. And when you walk on snow like this, um, it'll cool you down much faster than if you walk on normal ground. So you want to try and avoid the snow and stick to the normal ground, so I suggest like breaking the snow and walking behind you like that so you don't cool yourself down as fast. Then again, in the time it would take you to do that, you could probably just run to the place you're going faster. Um, so yeah, you might have to think about that, but anyway. So walking on snow has like a medium speed for cooling you down. And the worst one is water, so if you fall in water like this, you can see that the I cool down very fast and the blue bit of my bar is going up very fast. So you really want to avoid water. I'm presuming it's the same in real life really, because if you go to the Arctic and fall in like um, water, you're going to get frostbite quite fast and that's not going to be very good, so it's quite realistic in that regard. Um, but next up, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually warm yourself up. So once you've got really cold, you can see a lot of my bar is now blue. Wow, that's been set on fire. Um, you can actually go close to a fire and this will slowly um, heat you up. So the red bit of your bar will slowly get bigger, but it takes quite a while, so you're going to have to stand next to this for a long time. And weirdly, I would have thought that when you stood in the fire, your bar would like go down really fast, because of course when you're on fire, um, you're going to be quite hot. But no, that's not the case, you still decrease in the same rate, so um, no need to jump in the fire, it doesn't really help. Um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you, give you advice to jump in fires to cool your, I mean, heat yourself up, that's not going to be helpful. But anyway, the second method of warming yourself up is to stand inside two torches. So here I am, standing in two torches, and this will actually not make you hotter, it will just maintain your temperature. So, um, the cold bit of my bar isn't going to increase and the hot bit isn't going to um, increase, so it's just going to maintain this temperature. But the best way of um, warming yourself up is the lava, because if you stand next to lava, you can see the blue bit of my bar goes down rapidly, and I'm rapidly heating myself up. So my body temperature is increasing, and we're all good. So you can stand this next to this for about a minute, and your bar should be completely back to normal, which is very helpful, so you don't get any of those horrible effects on you, um, because that's not very helpful. But there we go. So really, when you start Minecraft World, you need to instantly try and get some iron for a flint and steel, and also make some torches just as a precaution, but most of all you need to go mining and try and get a bucket of um, lava, because if you can set one of those up in your base it's a really easy way of warming yourself up. And I'll need to mention that you need to be very close to the lava to actually have the effects on it, because if you stand far away it's not going to have any effects, so you need to be really quite close to it, without falling in of course, because if you fall in that's not going to be very helpful, you'll be too hot in that case and you're probably warming yourself up way too much. But there we go. Also, I forgot to mention for the cool um, things, if it's night time, you're going to cool down much faster. So if we go to night time now, uh, I'm going to cool down faster than if it's daytime, so you can see my bar's going up quite fast now. Um, so yeah, it's better to like explore the world in daytime so that you um, don't get too cold. And there we go. Uh, the next thing I actually want to show you is how what it looks like when it's um, snowing and you've got a really tiny render distance. Because you really can't see much in front of you at all. And oh, there's a skeleton there, and that's not good. Since I'm in survival, I need to get away from any skeletons. Let's turn to daytime. And you can see it's very white and the um, snow is um, quite thick. Um, in the future, I think, I read on the mod topic that they're planning to add like blizzards and stuff. So you might have horizontal snow and stuff and I really need to kill this skeleton. <laughs> there we go. So you might have blizzards in the future so your visibility is even worse. And yeah, when it's um, snowing, you're... You'll get colder a lot faster, which makes logical sense since you're going to be covered in ice cold snow. And damn, another creeper. There's mobs everywhere. Why did I put it on? Let's just go back to peaceful so I don't have to worry about mobs. But there we go. So you can see you can't see very much in front of you at all. Um, but there we go. So that's the basic features of the mod. Now I'm just going to go on to the clothing you can actually use to um, keep yourself nice and warm and toasty. So you can also use armour to stop yourself getting too cold, and um, normal leather armour will actually help uh, in a small amount, so it'll actually stop you getting too cold, although it's more effective to actually make a new kind of armour called wool armour, which this mod adds. So to craft wool armour, it's just the same way as you'd craft like leather armour, but instead of using leather, you just use wool, so basically it's just the same as you'd craft any kind of armour. Um, but anyway, 
this looks like this here. I don't know why I opened the chest, there's nothing in it. Um, but yeah, there we go. So it looks like this, and then you can put this on, and it will slow down the rate of your cooling. And you can see my um, blue bar is actually getting quite um, close to the end there, so soon I'm going to be having some horrible potion effects on me, so I'm just going to go bow the lava. But there we go. So you can use this to um, stop yourself getting too cold, and also you can use normal leather armor, although it doesn't help that much, so you're better off to just try and get some sheep and shear them, and not kill them, because don't kill sheep, that's evil. So yeah, um, that's what you can do. Uh, now I think actually I'm going to show you what the effects that you get when you get too cold are, um, because that would be quite interesting. You can see how bad it is when you get really cold. So you can see now that the majority of my temperature bar is now blue, and you can see I've got a load of potion effects on me as a result of that. So we've got slowness, weakness, and mining fatigue permanently. Just ignore the seven seconds, it's actually permanent. So you can see I'm going to be mining stuff very slowly and walking very slowly. I can barely go at a normal rate, and now in kicks the nausea and the blindness because my bar is very full. Look at this. <laughs> I can't see a thing. I mean, I can't even see in front of me. This is brilliant. And I wonder what happens when my bar gets completely blue. That should be quite interesting. But now we've got blindness and nausea and just every single potion effects under the sun at the moment. It's horrible. I mean, you can't see a thing. Come on, completely blue bar. What is going to happen? Is anything else going to happen? Are we going to get poisoned or something? Probably. Yep, there we are. Oh, there we are. I'm dying. There, there we are. Death attack cold. That's a nice death message there. But yep. But you respawn, all nice and toasty again. If only that happened in real life. And look at that, there's lily pads on the ice. I never knew that happened. Do they just like stay on the ice? But there we go. So that's what happens when you get too cold. So you really you want to be avoiding that because that's going to be horrible. And look at that sheep. Yay. Bleh. And now you can just use these sheep to uh, make some armor or something and keep yourself nice and warm. But there we are, punching sheep. After I just said don't kill sheep, that was really evil, but there we are. So yeah, this is the Frostcraft mod, and yeah, thank you for watching. Please remember to leave a like, and I'll see you next mod video.